But we begin with a manhunt for vicious killers. Police say they tried to target a rival gang member with assault rifles. But they ended up killing an innocent person late last night. Investigators say some gang members were caught on gas station surveillance video and police need your help to find them. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live at Fort and Schaefer in southwest Detroit. Jim, what can you tell us about this? Dave, we've seen, unfortunately, gang violence kill the innocent many, many times over the years. And police say this was an attempted execution of a rival gang member. The innocent man, Ray Baker Jr., was just walking out the front door of this gas station. It's the third time in the week someone got shot at a gas station that had nothing to do with the shooting. Take a look at surveillance video. You can see a man with his face covered fire shots with an assault style rifle, then run and get into the van with three others inside. Police say the gunman had a high capacity magazine and sprayed some 40 rounds. Others inside the van also fired shots. All four people and the older white Chrysler minivan are still being sought. They followed a car into the gas station carrying two intended targets, two 26 year olds a male rival gang member and a female. She was shot in the leg. He had a cut on his hand from flying glass. They sped off to save their lives and drove to a nearby hospital. Get this, they are not cooperating to find their own would-be killers. It's certainly frustrating in that there are individuals that definitely could put closure to this. Uh, also individuals that are engaging in this type of uh, conduct out on the street that puts the entire community at harm. This is the man who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ray Baker Jr. pictures from his Facebook page. He was just walking out of the gas station right into the line of fire and killed on the scene. He's a single man used to live nearby and moved up to Port Huron. This was gang related. No. That and the innocent victim is what's most disturbing. If they want to fight a war, go to the war, fight the war not kill their own people they ain't got nothing to do with it. Now police say they sometimes deal with the no snitch mentality out here on the streets. They really need your help on this one. If you know who these killers are, you can call in anonymously to Crime Stoppers. 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Live in Southwest Detroit, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim.